Hello from Chinature.com, this is Mark Josie. This video will be a little bit long, so um, let's get going. This is a pumping video showing you how to pump a 13CI tank with a Benjamin pump, Benjamin uh, PCP pump. As you can see, I use some paracord to wrap up the cord for storage, so it's easier to manage. And also for the um, head right here, I have put a tube, cardboard tube, that actually protect it. Pull off the cap, okay, and we're good to go. Okay, this is actually the what they call the air drying or desiccant um, attachment. We're gonna fill up this gun today. Right now, the gauge so shows that it's at zero, so it's totally empty. We'll leave it on the gun. Make sure that it's not pulled on, and take off the cap. Connect it. Make sure it's snapped, just like that. Okay, now let's put this aside. Let's get pumping. So right here you see there's a screw, right? Tighten this up. You guys have to count how many pumps because I don't really count really nicely, okay? If I do anything wrong, you guys can tell me. So let's count how many pumps to take to pump up the 13CI tank to uh, 3000 PSI. And in the meanwhile, you know, while I pump, you can hear me talk and stuff. And we'll do 50, 50, 50, 50, kind of like that. Okay, let's go. <clears throat> One, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six. Wow. <laughs> Eight, nine, ten. Okay, pretty good. One, two, three, <laughs> four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, forty. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I think we did 50. Okay, after 50 pumps from zero, we are at here. Okay, so that is what can't see it. Not 1000 yet, <laughs> but we start from zero though. Okay, now the pump you feel this body to see if the body is hot. If it's not hot, keep going. Okay. Keep going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. So again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, <laughs> we got how many? It's going fast. Past one, one thousand already. You know, I find that I didn't tighten the screw enough, so it's not pumping that fast. Make sure you tighten the screw all the way. Let's do 20 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One more. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we'll stop here. I think we did 100 pumps. The pump is a little bit warm. Okay, pressure. We're at 1,200 psi or so from zero, though. Okay, so that's uh. 100 pumps so we guess another 100 pump or 
yeah or so we got up to 2.2 or 2.3 K and then maybe a little bit more to top it to 3k okay make sure that your raw screw is screwed tight I find that my screw was loosened up <laughs> at first place so that it's not as efficient for the first 50 pumps and later on I screw it tight it's fine again okay now you need to give some time for the pump to rest so what do we do now um <laughs> let me think of a topic Okay, let's do the shooting test of a Tiberius T9 uh, 8.1 and show you a new product that just came in this week. Ah, okay. So this is my T9.1 package right here. Uh, so we're not shooting this, but I need to get get something inside. So let me get something here. Okay, that's what I want. This is the mock suppressor that I'm showing today. This suppressor is the uh, Hammerhead, I believe. I forgot what the brand is, but it's called the M50 suppressor, okay? It's a mock suppressor with reverse porting. What it does is the air goes in and it reverses the sound wave to the back. So if you're the one receiving the shot, this thing will really quiet down the shot for you. If you're the shooter, it also toned down the power by a big, 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 big amount. Okay, let's try it out. First of all, before we start, we need my T9.1 barrel because the T8.1 barrel is not threaded, so we can't really use that. Let me eject the mag first. Take this barrel out. Okay, we need the T9.1 barrel for it. Okay, so this thing screws onto almost all the barrels you can find. Very universal in a way. Okay, see, basically screws it on. Whoops. Careful of the threadings. Very easy, right? Okay, now pick a T8.1. We will unload it with the bricker balls. We don't need bricker balls. Okay, just a minute. Let me um, unload the, the balls here. So what you do is swap the barrel of your T8.1. While we're doing it, uh, this one, we're actually waiting for the pump to dry. I mean, to uh, cool down, okay? okay? Make sure your breech is facing down. Okay, right now the gun is equipped with the mock suppressor. Good. Uh, let's shoot some rubber balls. Okay, so we're shooting 3.9 gram rubber balls right here, the riot control round. We'll put 9 shots in here since we can shoot 9 shots only. It's shooting at high power guys, it's not shooting at the normal paintball kind of power. So it's a lot of CO2 consumed. One CO2, you get about um, 8 shots only. Always remember to drop one round into here. Preload that one round into the hole for the breach. Okay, now you have one round ready. Nine rounds in total. Very nice. Okay, let's gas up the gun. Put it on safe. Okay. I always suggest people to practice piercing CO2 with your left hand, just like that. Okay, like this. One, two, three, gas up. Easily done, right? Okay. So, let's get going. It's very loud, but with the small suppressor, it's not freaky. Okay, we did three shots, right? Now let's try it without the suppressor. I'm not joking, but you don't want to even try this. This is very loud. You see? It's very big uh, difference between the... No more CO2. Okay, There's a huge difference between with and without the, the suppressor. In real life, I would say, well, our CO2 is done. <laughs> In real life, I would say the uh, so-called suppressor will reduce the sound by about one third or more, uh, or half, that kind of level. It's not gonna like really go muffle the sound. It's, it's supposed to be like uh, redirecting the sound wave. So when you hear the sound, it feels like, um, when I'm shooting the 30 joules gun, it will feel like a 14 joules gun. So 
that kind of power okay so it's really different now let's get back to the pumping okay you feel the pump and you know now it's ready to pump again let's go pumping again one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five whoa six seven eight nine ten okay 20 more to go before we stop one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten more one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay we need to rest the pump pump is getting warm if you hold here it's getting warm after 50 pumps we're at almost a 2,000 PSI mark so that's 1,900 or 950 okay very close to 2k so I guess with uh, 15 more pumps like at the mark of 200 pumps we should be at 2.5k it should be okay okay so <laughs> right now we got some time left maybe I should do a little bit of other stuff review uh, just to you know we're waiting anyway wow the T8.1 is really freezing up you see that's the steel too <laughs> Woo, it's all icy. Maybe you can put this around to ice it. <laughs> okay, so, um, hey, let's think about it. Whoa, okay. Let's think about a topic to do. Um, okay, you guys always wanted to know about my, uh, the gun closet. So, we might as well take a look there. <laughs> okay, let's go over here. Okay, guys, this is the, what we call the gun room, or gun, gun closet. This is not all of my guns. Do not misunderstand. Okay, so uh, we got the Tiberius T15, very nice mag feeding mag fed marker, and then we have the TGR2 scarab arms. This is the uh, P90 from King's Arms Airsoft, and then you see right here we got an ML5 and the EMR5. Okay, this is a uh, Tipman X7 Phenom with tank in stock. Woo. Okay. This is the MR5 right here. Can't really see it. Oh, right here. If you see Crossman Nitro Venom 0.22 caliber. Um, this is the uh, Walther WA2000. And then it's really hard to see, you know, right here. But I got an AK AUG right here. Uh, electric blowback. And then at the back, I got all the uh, WeTech gas blowback rifles. So. We have a uh, M14 here, and then one of these, uh, forgot what it's called, <laughs> shell ejecting rifle. And then we got some Russian guns, uh, and then the SVD, SVD, and then there's the L96. Uh, this is the L85 or whatever ball pump. And then we got a lot of different stuff here, like the FN. FN2000, we got a M16 at the back, we got a sniper rifle there, we got a um, Crossman 1077 pellet gun, and then we have the G36, we have two AKs, we have a SCAR, we got a M4, all gas blowback, Hammer 7, and we got the M4177 pellet gun over there as well, 
Um, can't really see inside here, but there's a lot of guns here, okay? So basically, that's just, that this is like part of my guns collection. I have a lot of other stuff everywhere. So yeah, if you just look at here, you see, I've got a gun case with a sniper rifle, shotgun, and then two T4.1 and such. A lot of stuff in there, okay? So these are the long guns, not even the pistol yet. Um, this thing is very fun. Take a look. Coast steel, um, butterfly swords. Okay, it comes with a leather sheath, and I actually antiqued it. Do you see? It's not really shiny right now. It's oiled, and it's an antique kind of finish. Very cool blade, and extremely deadly for sure. Let's try it out. You have time, eh? So, this is a stack of magazines, as you can see. Let's try what's happened. Ah, oh, broke through the first one. Woohoo! <laughs> Did it go through? No, it didn't. I'm gonna try again. Kind of fun like this. Heart smack. What happened to it? It didn't go through. Oh, mine. <laughs> I was like, hey, it should go through. Okay, let's try a different, different blade. This is the other side. Try it for fun, you know. Didn't do that. Whoa. Opens up. Whoa. Second magazine. Did it go to the third? Uh, it did crack, but it didn't really penetrate. It cracked it. Wow. Two magazines in one blow. <laughs> okay. Don't ask me why I'm doing this. It's just for fun. Okay. So basically that's the Coast Dew um, Butterfly Sword. Antique version. Antique. Not antique. Okay, what I did was I put gun blue on the blade and it actually made the blade look really nice. Also prevents rusting. Okay, I think we are okay with the pump. It's still a bit warm, let's wait a bit. Uh, during the meantime, maybe we'll take one of these instrument out to play. Hope my battery on the GoPro is still going strong. Eh? Okay, this is not a shakuhachi, this is a Chinese bamboo flute as you see we're pumping as well as um, doing some music so okay my GoPro is still okay Pumping. I don't want the battery to run out. <laughs> okay, let's pump. One. Revive. <laughs> Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, ten more to go. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, two hundred pumps. After 200 pumps, we're at 2.5k, 2,500 uh, 2, psi. We would need to give the pump a little bit of resting, uh, maybe one, one or two minutes, and we'll pump more. After this, <laughs> you feel like, whew, but playing this instrument will help you to cycle the breathings. Okay guys, <laughs> before my GoPro battery really go die, dead, we'll pump 50 pumps more, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Okay, I think uh, just ten more to go. What's in up? It's full. Three thousand psi right there. 
240 pumps. Unscrew the brass screw that the gas your uh, pump, the hose. Now we're all done. Okay, and unblock it and disconnect. I mean, okay, good. Now the tank is at 3,000 psi again. Wow, amazing. Okay, guys, <laughs> that's it for the video. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and like. And uh, don't forget that this is a very extreme test testing to pump the tank from zero to 3,000 psi. If you're using a 13 CI like that with a pump, never use it to the bottom. Always pump it back when it's about 1,000 psi, you, you pump it back up to 3,000. Then that way, you'll go under 200 pumps to fill up your tank and it won't stress out your pump that much. So thank you for watching. Remember, uh, remember to subscribe and like. Bye-bye!